I scored a C1 in maths in 10th grade and in 11th and 12th I decided to quit maths completely and from there being able to score a 98 percentile in CAT was a big big achievement for me and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can crack once as well especially if your maths is not as great as it was for me and it's not something which I'm bragging about in fact I was quite surprised that I scored so low in maths especially when I'd given my best it's just that I didn't understand maths properly at that time. And just understanding the basics of maths completely changed my life. And that's how I was able to crack CAT. So in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about how you can crack wands in your 2025 CAT paper. By the way, if you are subscribing to my channel thinking like I'm only going to post CAT based content, then that's not it. CAT was a part of my life. That's why I share a lot of tips which help me in cracking CAT. But ultimately, I'm going to use this YouTube channel to help you grow in life, be it in your career, be it in your love life, be it in your emotional life, be it in your spiritual life. Because these are the things that I believe in. I think your CAT journey or your entrance exam journey is a very small part of your life and your bigger larger picture of your life is going to be about your emotional stability. It's going to be about your ability to grow. So that's exactly what I'm going to focus on this channel. So if you're subscribing to the channel, please subscribe it if you want to grow in life. Now coming back to the tips, the number one tip which I give to all students who are preparing for quants specifically is focus on conceptual clarity. I cannot stress on this enough. Your conceptual clarity is something which is going to help you beat all of the competition around you. You need to know exactly why certain things are happening in maths. Because if you can understand the why, you'll be able to crack any of the questions. It might take you some extra time, but the point is you'll be able to crack the questions. Now, how do you develop the conceptual clarity? You develop it by asking why a lot. So Indian education system is based a lot on memorizing things. So the chances are that you have probably memorized a lot of things in maths without understanding why it happens. For example, this is something which I did. Why is minus multiplied by minus equal to a plus sign? What is the logic behind that? It's not something which you're ever taught in schools, right? And that's exactly what I did. I went on Khan Academy. I think Salman Khan is one of the best teachers you could ever find online to teach you maths. Uh, this is not your Bollywood actor Salman Khan. This is Salman Khan from Khan Academy, who's the instructor there. And he teaches in a phenomenal way. He gets to the why. He, he really tells you why things happen in maths. So whenever you have a doubt about anything, even a small hesitant doubt, ask yourself that. It's really going to help you in cracking your cat paper because you are going to be able to focus on the why and then eventually be able to solve even the harder questions, which sometimes even the toppers are not able to solve. Now coming to the second strategy, which really, really helped me in cracking cat, and that is getting good with arithmetic and algebra. Let's face it, arithmetic and algebra is the major chunk which comes in your CAT paper. So if these two sections are something which you've really mastered, you can solve any question from these two sections, you can easily score 99 plus. It's my guarantee. If you master these two sections, absolutely master it, absolutely kill it, you can score 99 plus in your CAT quant section. So for the longest time, the CAD paper was designed in a way that all of the engineers are able to crack it or people who are really good at maths because they would focus more on modern math or algebra. And arithmetic is that one section which people from humanities section like me or people from commerce section can easily crack. And I genuinely feel it's a little more logical to whatever business studies you're going to do. So it's extremely important that you focus on the algebra and the arithmetic section of this particular section. If you're or somebody who's really not good at maths, I would say just focus on these two sections instead of focusing on all the other sections. I don't know why, but geometry, for some reason, they've reduced the number of questions that you get. Even coordinate geometry, they used to give such easy questions, but now they've reduced the numbers of geometric questions quite a lot. So if you can focus on these two sections, if you're lacking time and you don't have that much expertise in maths, then just focusing on these two sections is going to help you cover a major chunk in your exam paper. The third strategy when it comes to your CAT quants paper, which can really help you, is memorizing all of your tables. Memorize all of the square roots, memorize all of the cube roots, all of the tables, uh, some addition sums which come very often or some subtraction sums that come very often. Because in that moment when you're solving all of these things, if you go back to your calculator and use that, you'll waste at least two minutes in that entire process. 
And if you don't know your tables really well, then your LRDI section is also screwed up. So I would genuinely say that you make a list where you write all of the tables up till 30 at least and all of the cube roots and all of the square roots. It's really going to help you. The fourth and the most important part of your CAD Quants journey is making a formula book. I cannot stress on this enough. You have to make a formula book. You cannot make do without a formula book. And it has to be yours. You can buy multiple formula books. They're amazing. But ultimately, a formula book that you have made yourself, you'll know exactly where certain things are. And you'll be able to find the answers to things very easily. And I would say start, start, start memorizing them right now. Don't wait for the last two, three months to start memorizing them. So this is one trick that I learned from Shweta Rora's video is this, that whenever you're giving a mock exam, just memorize your entire formula book before you give that mock exam. So if you're going to give at least 20 mock exams before your CAD paper, you would have memorized your formula book 20 times before you give the actual CAD paper. So there's no way you'll forget your formula while you're sitting at that exam sheet, not at with the exam sheet. That gets me to the fifth point when it comes to your CAD paper. Uh, there's this geometry formula book that Raman sir had given on his uh, telegram group. I don't know if it still exists or if that geometry formula book is still there. And I don't feel comfortable putting it on my channel because it is his property. So if you want to get a copy of that, you can check out Raman Tiwari's uh, Telegram group or you could join my WhatsApp group uh, where I keep giving out resources for not just your cat, but for other things as well. So I can give out the geometry uh, workbook there. The link to join the WhatsApp group is in my description below. The link to join the WhatsApp group is in my description below. So you can check it out there. And the reason why I'm recommending this geometry formula book is because it has literally all the formula you can expect. You know, any formula that could come in your geometry question, the formula for that is there. So you don't even have to sit and solve the entire thing. And with geometric questions, it takes a really long time to solve them. The circles questions especially. So I had just memorized the entire thing and a very difficult question that had come in the geometry uh, question paper in CAT 2023. So since I had memorized the entire geometry formula book, I was able to go back to that and actually use that formula for solving that question, which most people had left. And I think if I hadn't solved that question, I would not have been able to get a 95 plus percentile. So really memorizing that formula book in its entirety really helped me in cracking the cat paper. So I would genuinely recommend that for geometry, just memorize the entire formula book by Raman Tiwari. So that gets me to the next strategy. And that is, see, solving your quants questions, right, gets very tedious. And you're supposed to solve at least 20 questions every day so that you don't leave the hang of it. Uh, and just doing that by yourself can get very cumbersome. What I used to do was I used to play a lot of YouTube videos. So Krakow used to upload so many videos, so many marathons. I would just sit with that and do it. And that would be my thing that, okay, I have to solve the entire video. So I'm not counting the number of questions per se, but I'm seeing the number of hours that I've finished in that marathon video. So you could watch marathon videos for arithmetic. You could watch uh, marathon videos for algebra, or you could see the 10 toughest questions that come in the CAD paper or the top 50 questions by Krakow that you must do for quants or you could see for specific topics as well percentages uh, sequences and series everything is available on YouTube and the best part is that you know you'll solve the question if you don't get the answer you have a video based solution for it so I genuinely used to spend a lot of hours doing these marathon videos it kept me engaged and I was able to solve more questions. And on top of that, I like doing it through the videos. Otherwise, it got really cumbersome. That gets me to the next point. A lot of people ask me, do I need to take CAT coaching? I think you should because a lot of CAT coaching mentors, they'll tell you all of the tips and tricks. They'll tell you exactly what's going to come for your CAT paper. They're going to predict the changes that are going to happen and then help you understand. A lot of people will recommend, oh, this Rodha channel and he covers everything for your CAT prep. Sure, you can go through everything there, but the videos are extremely lengthy and it doesn't cover everything. And they don't tell you a lot of tips and tricks. They tell you all the big formulae. And the thing is, if any of these people, they upload the entire thing on YouTube, you are not going to buy their course. And they don't want that to happen. They want you to buy their course. And that's why nobody wants to post full-fledged videos about how to do particular topics on their YouTube channels. It's very easy for them to do it. 
but they don't do it because then they know that they're losing out on a lot of money. And that's why I'm recommending you if you are not good at maths, go for a coaching. And if you think that these NCRT books are going to help you or these RD Sharma books are going to help you, they're not. They are meant for 12th grade exams or 10th grade exams. They are leads apart from the CAT exam paper because it's more conceptual, it's more logical. So all of these NCRT questions are not going to help you. I'm not going to recommend any coaching to you that you join this particular coaching. Uh, that is something which you'll have to do the research on your own, but join a good coaching because it's really going to help you. It helped me and it has helped a lot of aspirants who are also preparing for CAT. Coming to the next point, uh, that is you cannot miss out on your CAT mocks. So you have to do them to time yourself to see how you handle yourself well under pressure as well. Uh, Quants is your last section. Right. So you've gone through the VRC section, you've gone through the LRDI section, and at the very end, you've gotten quants. You need to get accustomed to that sort of a uh, paper because when you're sitting at that exam hall, you go with so much energy, there's so much nervousness inside you. So for the VRC section, you're just pumped with energy. By LRDI, you're feeling miserable that did I even do this paper really well? So by the time you reach quants, you're just depressed that what is going to happen in my life? What is going to happen next? So you need to get accustomed to that sort of a pressure. And that is something which you sort of go through while you're doing your cat mocks. So don't think that you can just uh, leave out your cat mocks or just do sectional mocks and be good with it. It's not going to work out. You have to do your full-fledged mocks to get used to that pattern. And that gets me to the final point. Cat exam is just a part of your life. Don't make it your entire life. I did that and I regret it so much. It is just a part of your life. So if you're not able to crack CAT, there are many other options that you can take up. So don't rely on just the CAT paper and don't be like it's a do or die situation for you. Because if you give with that desperation, you're not going to crack it. If you're less desperate about it and you give your full, then you can crack the CAT exam. And even if you don't, there are so many other options for you. You know, the founder of Soul Store, he ended up cracking a lot of the IAMs, the top IAMs, and, and he actually decided that he didn't want to go to the IAMs and instead start his own startup, which is Soul Store. And today they make a revenue of 2000 crores. So don't think like your CAT exam is do or die. You have GMAT exam. You can still go to ISP because ultimately you have to take hefty loans to get into the IAMs as well. So seriously, this is my last, very last point to you. Don't think of CAT as do or die. Don't let it rule your entire life. It is an important exam for you. I'm not denying that, but don't make it everything in your life. With that, I've come to the end of the video. I really hope you're able to give your best in the exam. And I really hope you get your desired outcome at the end of it. So you take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.